What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tech Reacts where every beat counts. My name is Matt Tech. Thank you for joining me today. We're back with some Nightwish. I've been I've been missing it. I've been itching for it. Um, we've done a, a lot of artists. There's so many videos on the channel now. It's been unbelievably fun. But I do miss Nightwish and I'm so sorry that it's been so long. It's been at least like 10 days and that's just unacceptable around here. Especially because we have so much music to get to and then there's new music coming. So when the new single is dropped on May 21st, this is this song this video is probably going to be out either after that, but I'm going to try to do a reaction the day of on the 21st to the new song they have. Um, if I've done that, then there should be a link in the description down at the bottom. But as you can see, I'm in a different setting. If you didn't see on the Unleash the Archers video, um, I'm in a I'm at my parents' house. They are vacationing in in Arizona. They're going to see the Grand Canyon, and so my daughter and I are house sitting, and she is taking care of the cats. I want nothing to do with these animals. So my, so my daughter is getting paid to uh, take care of the cats, give them their food, medicine, all that stuff, and I just get uh, nothing because my parents gave me life and a, a good one at that. So this is the least I can do for them. But hey, let's, let's, let's jump in, Nightwish. This, so because of that, I had to, you know, I was doing the pull, pull the song out of a hat thing and um, I decided, hey, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do the next one off the generals list because all that stuff is back at my house. So we're gonna move down the list. This is gonna be song of myself live from Vakin 2013 open air. Um, and I'm pretty stoked about this one, y'all. Not gonna lie to you. It it's labeled as dark metal. So. Let's get to it. If you haven't, head over to the Discord and hang out with us over there. Consider supporting the channel. And without further ado, here we go. This is Nightwish, Song of Myself. <clears throat> Feels like it's in seven. Four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Hiding pain is still locked in the cage. The deep breath I took still poisons my lungs. Yeah, it's in seven. An old oak sheltering me from the blue. Sun bathing on its dead flows of blue. This, this like little music box thing. He, it, it sounds like somebody's winding up a music box and then and then opening it. It's very cool. And the and the dynamic difference there from being aggressive and loud and it drops to nothing. The music the music box and then it's gonna come right back up. Check this out. I love 
that. Oh. I love his voice. We did High Hopes, the Pink Floyd cover, and his voice just shines in that song. Chromatic, the chromatic drop was. It takes you. It 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 tells me that they're that they're about to go to a different place, because it, they've played the same theme on the opening, and then in the breakdown, when it drops, and then they did it again, but then this time they did it and they and they embellished that little that little music box melody by playing a bunch of just chromatic tones which means that it just it just dropped each you know to the key next to it the words on the screen something about lullabies and nightmares Guitars are so grungy too, I love it. Cool. 
string section behind that is cool because if you if you listen real closely, you know you hear. I mean, they're hanging out. I think down on that. I think it's an E because I think they're in drop D. So they're hanging out on the two fret, which is E. But then you've got you've got the strings, which you guys said is the London Philharmonic. Like listen to those strings underneath this chunky ripping your face off grunge section. Oh, I love that. Yeah, dude. Man. Wait. What does that say? Something remains the change from G to E minor? Song of Myself. Boy, I really want to know what those words were up on the screen. I know that Tuamas is very intentional about the things that he writes. I didn't have the lyrics on. I don't have my second screen, so I didn't catch all the words. But it says, in these forever, I think, in there forever remains the change from G to E minor. Um, small music theory, what that means is it is, and let me know if this lends itself to the story at all, <clears throat> G major, the key of G major has the same notes in it that the key of E minor has. So E minor is known as the, the relative minor of G and G is the relative major of E minor. What that means is that if you were to play from G to G on the piano, you would play all white keys up until you got to the F and the F would be sharp, it would be a black key. E minor is the same thing, but you start on an E and then your next note is that F sharp, and then it's all white keys, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, and then back down. Um, major, major chords are very happy sounding, very jovial sounding. Minor chords are very sad and somber sounding. So I wonder if that's what this is, is he's saying, and there forever remains the change from happy to sad or uh, hopeful to pessimistic. Um, let me know. Let me know about that. Really, really curious. I loved it. Again, it, I mean, they play around with a couple of time signatures. You know, they're... A majority of the time they're in four, but there's there's some time, especially in the beginning, where they're in seven, and they're just moving back and forth, and I absolutely love it. Super, super cool. Um, that was a neat. That was a neat song. Tell me when in the show this song happens, because they looked they looked tired, um, and and back when I was playing music full time, we were doing a tribute to the Trans Siberian Orchestra, so we were you know we would play the two hour show. Except we weren't playing to 40,000 people. We were maybe playing to like 3,000 people at a time, a much smaller scale. Uh, but the same energy is needed regardless of how many people are out there. And I remember, you know, right before we would take a brief intermission, I would just be pretty tired. 
but then at the end of the show that you know the last song where, you, where it's you're 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 giving it your all right um and we would take that song and like raise it up a level i just remember being so exhausted but thinking i've got to leave it out all out on the field right now i can sleep when i get back to my hotel room um but they just look a little bit tired in this one so i'm curious when when this one pops up in in the show that was fun man it, it's been too long since we've done Nightwish. kind of regret it but um let me know what's next i think you guys had said hey yeah go ahead and you know do the like random pull out of the hat because i'm not ready yet for the greatest show on earth i don't think i don't think i want to go there just yet i i need more more and more and more Nightwish. um so i don't think we're there yet anyway if you want to have a conversation about that head over to the discord it's the best place for us to have a conversation i can't always get to the comments i don't always see the comments but the discord is a lively jovial um educational community in with everybody from all the different artists that we've done a lot of you nightwish fans are there so come on in the water is fine and then we'll hang out and you guys can give me all the education over on the discord on what the song was about Thank you. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.